you all know, I'm very interested in STEM education, but I'm also pretty skeptical about STEM education products. I get dozens of emails a month asking me to review different kits and robots, but nearly all of them, it's easy to see it's just a toy with the word STEM in the marketing literature as a way to jack up the price. Very rarely, I see something that looks like it might engage children in the real world and have some educational value. This time, it's the ClickBot. I'm still skeptical, but I'm going to unbox it, take a look, and see if it's something I can recommend. The packaging is very nice and it's got real English, which is a good sign. Let's hope they keep that up and let's keep unboxing. And this is very nice. It is set up as a drawer. You can put everything away. You won't end up with a mess with all the little parts. Wow, there are some serious kits. I think I'm going to take a look at the instruction first and start with a small one first and then figure out the other functions. This video is made possible by the generous support of JLC PCB, China's largest PCB manufacturer. With JLC, you can have your PCB manufactured in under 24 hours all while you track the process in real time. Prototype boards start at just $2 in any color. Check the description box for more info. One of the best ways to support me is to support the companies that fund this channel. Okay, this is the ClickBot app. I downloaded the latest version and they constantly update it. Uh, once they have an update, they will uh, give you an alert and uh, you can uh, upgrade it and also upgrade the firmware on the robot. So their app has a lot of tutorials. You see their customer are posting their uh, work, their um, robot stuff on, on it. Uh, they have broccoli programming for you to uh, control the robot and they also have a lot of tutorial like motorcycle, rover, tiny tail, like all of this you can just follow the guy uh, and do it. So um, let's try to build one. Let's build a simple one first and then we will try to do the other stuff. And on the side, you can see there is the quick guide here. They don't uh, just have the quick guide book in paper, but also like the complete tutorial step by step to guide you. I watched them all. It's great. So now I've been charging the main part, which is the head of the robot. And let me turn it on first. So I'm going to turn it on on the back of the robot head. There is the power on button. If there is any update, it's gonna show up and you can update. So let me connect to it. Wi-Fi. 
connected. Okay. So once I connect it, it shows on my phone. And then I hit connect. There is a process before this is in the guidebook. You just scan the QR code with the robot head with the camera on it and uh, it will connect to your local Wi-Fi. Right? So you see there is a robot here called BAD. So if I want to con uh, build this, right, this has a, uh, a joint, a picture of its joint connected to the head and we just follow it step by step. You can see in the picture, this one is horizontal, so you're going to connect it horizontally. There are a couple of ways to connect this joint to, together, so I'm going to connect it horizontally, just like it shows in the picture. So it's like this, right? All right, please connect the show module onto a flashing connector, so the other one is um, vertical, so, like this. Next step, please connect the show module onto a flashing connector. This is um, the other module, this one, in the other box. Module can be updated, please update first. Let's update. update. So no matter what kind of shape you're gonna make it or what kind of form it's gonna turn into, it will update the module uh, simultaneously so that it has memory. I mean, on because you can control it with the, the app. So you will see because you can also follow it by the apps, but I'm, so this orientation is wrong. I have to change the orientation of this module. Right now I'm just following the guy on the interface here. Change connection orientation. It has this little pogo pins that you connect with. Okay, please connect. Okay, let's connect with the other uh, module, this balls. Uh, this is horizontally. No, this is vertical. Okay, there is a base we need to connect it with. Let's remove the sticker. Stick it to my glass table. Open this. Take this out. So once I connected, this is the demo they have per program. Okay, let's go into Go Create and create a new robot. 
so you can see it in 3D wheel this is the one we just made and then save save modify 3D wheel and save Create this motion. It has demo motion, rotation motion, steering motion. Rotation motion is for the wheels, and steering motion is also for the wheel platform. So this one doesn't have any wheels. This one just the joints and the head. So I'm going to use the demo motion. Okay. So the joint can move freely now. You can also lock the joint by using their app. If you want, um, uh, so like if you want to lock this join, select join module slot or unlock, then you're unable to move it. If you want it to unlock it, just unlock it in the app so it can move freely again. Record. And then we move the precision here, record. And you can also add the time delay, waiting time 0.5, and move it to the other direction. Record. Record. Okay, and if you want to change the speed, you just move these points, okay? But um, okay, that's You can also change the speed rate to 29%. It will go slower. Speedway, make it slower. And then. Now, obviously, slower than before. Okay. So, we want, if you want to uh, program its motion, this is how you're going to do it. And you also have this broccoli. Uh, uh, this is the, the other way to program the robot arm. If you never, uh, if you never program anything before, this is very good for you, especially for kids. You can just select um, this kind of block and then kind of like scratch, move it on the side and then program it. Uh, let me show you other functions. Let me build more robots. Let me try to build this motorcycle. Okay, let me take off the head. So you can choose to build it by just looking at the picture. If you are a person who, <laughs> who have better um, like graphs on 3D wheels, this is pretty easy. But if you don't, it can guide you step by step. Just like how we do it by looking at the module here, see? It also shows on the display on the head, and at the same time, it shows on their app. So now we are going to add the module. It shows you the orientation of how you assembled it. This is a kind of, in on a 45 degree angle so we're going to grab another one and this is actually horizontal right okay okay just pop it in like this and then put another one here Uh, 
All right, next. One above two. You see, there is the control prop. You can oh, Let me clear the oh, table a little bit. So. What if I click this one? <laughs> it's pretty cute. And you can also record video from here, so I can see. So you can record its motion. And you can record at the same time if you already have a robot on hand. And because I'm uh, recording what I'm doing on the app, and I can uh, film at the same time. I only have one phone. Uh, 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 so this is a good function. Safe, it's safe successfully. It was saved to your local album. Right, okay, let's click it out. Let's build another one. Let's build this one. I want to use the, actually this clamp kind of look like the clamp I got for uh, my robot arm. I was going to use this kind of grip to do a demo for my 7-axis robot arm but for this stand maker kit they also have that it's pretty similar so let's let's take a look at that right this is over uh, follow the guy step by step I, I like to do that because at the same time you learn if you if I just follow the whole picture sometimes the joints I might connect it in the wrong orientation just like I did before because there are a couple ways to do it you can connect it horizontally you can connect it at an angle or vertically so it's better for me to follow it step by step You can use this one to control the grip. Okay, if you want to open the grip, close the grip, open the grip, close the grip. Oh, at the bottom you can control the single arm that holds the grip. Can I do it at the same time? Wow! <laughs> wow. Well, so I can control the axis at the same time. Open, close. Open. 
Wow. Oh, and then it flips back. This one, this one, that's why it flips. I like it. Okay. All right. This is pretty convenient. I just followed the tutorial and made this. And I'm, I'm sure the kids will enjoy it too. Let's try the car. I, I want to see the steering motion. So let's try a simple one. switch to big so it automatically uh, recognize this uh, model and it's a self-balancing little car now <laughs> Now, my friends who used to work for the robot arm company who joined this company are making video fantastic tutorials uh, for them. I have been watching some of them, which is really good on, uh, they have it on YouTube and also in the app. So let's take a look, this conditional clause and gesture sensing robot. Jake, let's play a game today. It's called if I point left and right, you look at the opposite direction. Okay. Easy. Seems easy. Okay. Ready? Okay, I think uh, I can follow the tutorial and do the same thing. So, as they say in the video, there are gesture sensors here, maybe this too. So that's why the robot can sense your movement and turn left or right. That's why on this sensor uh, sensor column, it has the uh, gesture block. We go to control. I put all the blocks I need there. I'm going to send it to the robot. Okay, what do I think of the clickbot? Well, it's tough. As I said, I don't have a very good opinion of STEM educational kits, particularly robots. I have come across dozens that all have the same problem a terrible curriculum and unusable software. That's why you don't see me with all these. They seem to all have the same problem. But the software and tutorials for the ClickBot are really, really good in my opinion. I'll put their YouTube link in the description box so you can see for yourself. They really know how to teach. I have a good time building this. The instruction are clear and not frustrating. It's not going to teach component level hardware programming, but it's an incredibly good introduction to software and hardware fundamentals. If there's one caveat, it's you get what you pay for. It's a great product, but this whole kit in front of me, it's $1,000. Yes, there are smaller kits, but you are still looking at around $500. Yes, it's worth every penny. No, this is not going to be for everyone. This is a money is no object. I want my kid to have the best STEM educational product available kind of purchase. If you can swing that, fantastic. Your kid will have a blast. 
As far as lower cost options that offer comfortable educational content, if you put more time in, I'm going to look around at what's out there for the level and get back to you. Most of the stuff I usually recommend from Adafruit is more advanced than this, but of course, they're always a good place to start. Okay, so the cake rocked. If you can afford it, get two thumbs up from me. That's it for today. I'll see you all next time. And remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.